Hi there, my name is Pat McNair and this is one in a series of training videos I've produced on SharePoint Server 2007. In this video we're going to be looking at surveys. We'll discuss what a survey is in SharePoint terms and we'll look at how to create one and I'll then tell you briefly about a scenario that occurred with an IT company I work with uh, where we actually had to use a survey in SharePoint. Throughout these videos we'll be using this training site I created in an earlier video so let's get right into it and look at surveys just now. So what exactly is a survey in SharePoint? Well it's just the same as any survey, it's a set of questions that we send out to a target audience. The, the target audience supply answers to the questions, we collect the answers and from the answers we get back we can collate the information and uh, act accordingly. Now the scenario that I'm going to describe here is um, one where we, the company I work for, actually sent out an update to a particular software application. Unfortunately for some of the users the update caused problems with the application and what we had to do is to use a survey in SharePoint to identify how many users were affected by the update and we also wanted to identify those users that were affected so we'd know who we had to visit to put the problem right. Um, so without much ado, let's have a look at how we would create a survey in SharePoint. So here's our training site, we're on the front page of it. If you click on the documents link here in the quick launch, you'll see that the only document library we have here is the shared documents document library. This is the one that was created by default when we created the training site in an earlier video. Um, there's a link up here for create, if we click on that. You'll see that under the tracking heading here, there is an option for creating a survey, so we'll select that. Now what we have to do is to type in some meaningful information in relation to the survey. Uh, since what we want to do is to identify who is affected by the update, I'm just going to call it update issue. In the description here, we would uh, type a descriptive text that will help the site visitors use this survey. We're just going to say here what it is we're doing. Um, collecting information on the recent update. Now you could be more descriptive than that. You may want to identify which update for which application, but for our example here that's enough. Navigation, do we want to display a link to the survey on the quick launch of our training site? Now, in reality, I would probably just send out an email to all the, the target audience with a link directly to the survey so they don't have to go through the training site. Um, but for, for demonstration purposes here, I'm just going to say yes to this. Uh, survey options, do we want to show user names in the survey results? Well, as we said earlier, we want to identify the users that have been affected by the update. So the answer to that is yes. And allow multiple responses? Well, no, we want each user just to give one response to the survey. We don't want them to fill in multiple surveys, so we'll say no there. If I click next, we can then supply the questions that we want to ask the target audience. Now you see at the bottom of the page here, once you've done one question, you click next question and fill in the next one. You can actually fill in as many questions as you want. Um, in our case, we're just going to fill in two. And the first question I want to ask is, did you apply the latest update? Because there may be users that didn't apply the update themselves. So, did you apply the latest update? I just want a yes, no answer to that. For the user, this will be in the form of a checkbox. If they place a tick in the checkbox, they'll have answered yes. If they leave the checkbox blank, they will have answered no. What do I want the default value for that checkbox to be? I'll say no. So the checkbox will be clear when the user sees it. Um, next question. Next question is, are you having problems with the application after the update was applied. Again, a simple yes-no answer to that. I'm 
a firm believer that the easier you make a survey to fill in, the more likely people will actually do it. If you make it complicated and they've got to type loads of text, the chances are they, they probably won't be bothered doing it. Uh, the default value for this? No. And since that's the last question, you just click Finish. So there you'll see our list of questions that we've got, the type of answer that we're looking for. Um, one other thing we can do, if you click up here, Advanced Settings, we don't want users when they're filling in the survey to be able to see other responses from other users. So we're going to select this so that they only see their own responses. And this Edit Access here, specify which responses users can edit. Well, again, we only want them to be able to edit their own responses, so we'll say only their own. Allow items from this survey to appear in search results. We'll just say yes to that, that's fine. So I'll click OK. Having created our survey and the questions that we want to ask the target audience, we now have to specify who is going to have access to this survey. So if you go to permissions for this survey, I've already got groups created here, but I'm actually going to add a specific user. So if I click Actions and Edit Permissions, click OK at the warning. Okay. Now, in reality, I've already added a user in here, P. McNair, and that's the one I want to do it. If I wanted to add a user, I would just say New, Add User, specify the user, users, or groups there. Now, to be able to fill in a survey, they have to have Contribute Permissions. You would have that ticked there. Um, and I would untick the bit at the bottom that says welcome to this. You don't want to really send them out an email saying welcome to it. You could put a message in there saying please visit this site and fill in the survey. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get the URL to the survey, send it out in an email and get users to visit it. That way I can put in the email a descriptive um, reason for them actually filling out the survey. Now as I said I've actually already added um, P. McNair as the user there. So the survey is created. We'll go back to the training site. I'm going to sign on as P. McNair. Uh, at the moment I'm in as a system account. So I'll just put P. McNair in here. And log on. So I'm not in as the administrator anymore. I'm in as an ordinary user. Uh, click on the update issue and I'm at the survey. So I've had no responses to that at the moment. I'm going to respond to the survey as an ordinary user. Here's my questions. Did you apply the latest update? Yes, I did. Are you having problems with the application after the update was applied? Yes, I am. Click Finish. And the user's done what they, meant, they were meant to do. They filled in the survey. Um, there's been one user that's filled in, if they click on here, show a graphical response, they'll actually be able to see how many yes answers they got to that question, how many yes answers they got to that one. Well, we've only had one person fill it in, so 100% of the people that filled it in said yes to both answers. The other thing that we can get from that is show all responses. And you can see there the response by P. McNair. Um, they completed it. I can view that response and I could even create columns there so that I can actually see what the response was um, in the actual tabular view in this view here that you see there. So that's it. That's basically it. you're sending out. You would maybe send out a link. I would take this URL here at the top, copy that. I would paste it into an email. Maybe give a description, can you please visit this link and complete the survey in relation to the software update that went out recently. Once I've got that, I'll be able to quantify how many people are affected, how many people have problems with the application, and then I'd be able to target those users because we've actually specified that the usernames are shown in that as well. That's how easy it is. That's how to create a survey, and that's the sort of scenario you would use it in. Like I say, you can have lots of different types of responses and lots of questions as well. I hope this training video has proved useful for SharePoint, in particular to surveys. And uh, if you've been interested in this, please visit one of our other training videos on SharePoint Server 2016.
2007. Thank you.